The California High Speed Rail Authority Board reached an important decision today about how the rail system will affect Bakersfield. And 23 ABC's Kelly Johnson was at that meeting downtown today. She joins us now live. Kelly? Jackie, I'm standing in front of the Marriott, and right behind me inside, local contractors are meeting with the rail authority. And it was earlier today that a decision was made about a potential light rail, a high-speed light rail location right here in Bakersfield. I think there's some supporters, some opponents, and then some who are supportive depending on the route selected. Bakersfield resident Adam Cohen is a transportation planner and researcher with the University of California, Berkeley. When it comes to the high speed rail coming to Bakersfield, he knows exactly which route he's against. That's the reason I'm out here today, is because, you know, I don't want all those extra cars and pollution on our downtown roads. The California High Speed Rail Authority Board met in Bakersfield today to discuss the two routes that are expected. To connect Shafter to Bakersfield. If it's coming, uh, the goal of the city and my instruction from the city council has been to do everything possible to make sure it has the best possible route through town. There's the F Street station alignment that is the locally generated alternative. This is the route which was drafted by the city. It would place the high speed station at F Street and Golden State Avenue. It's less costly, quicker, uh, less of a visual obstruction. Uh, it is in almost all uh, ways, we think. Uh, the better uh, of the alignments under consideration. The alternative and second option would make the Amtrak station along Truxton a hybrid alternative that goes through downtown. The meeting lasted for hours as one by one community leaders and citizens voiced their concerns. There's one station that's walkable, the other one is absolutely not walkable. In the end, the board unanimously voted for the locally generated alternative at F and Golden State. It was a, a step forward today, it was positive. There are still months of negotiations before uh, construction can begin on the project, and those behind the project hope that high speed rail will be up and running by the year 2025. Reporting live from downtown Bakersfield, Kelly Johnson, 23 ABC.